Hello again and welcome back to these CAM Studio video classes. This is the fourth section where we'll cover the getting started section here. In particular, downloads and installations. Now, if, if you've downloaded the mind map, which I hope you have, and installed it along with the Java runtime environment, all you'll have to do is open this up and click on these and uh, at the time of making this mind map, all of these links were current and took you right to the download pages. Now, one program that I particularly like is called Sizer. And Sizer allows you to add, well, what it does is it adds a drop down so that when you right click on your title bar, you get this resize, reposition thing. And you can custom make these various sizings for your windows. Like I'm recording right now in an 856 by 480 centered window. And the nice thing about that is that in the new version, newer versions of Cam Studio, which I'm recording this in, you get to pick a window as a region. So when I start record, it asks me to select a window and uh, begin my recording. That way my region is already preset and all set. It's all ready to go. Now you can click on this and if you have the mind map software downloaded and it'll take you right to the download page. But well, let's cover how to do it from Google. Simply type in Sizer. And the very first entry will be the Sizer software by Brian Apps. Click on that. And the download link is right here. So download that, run it. I recommend going ahead, and this only option only appears when you're installing it. I recommend telling it to run on startup so that it's always there available for you to use whenever you right click on the title bar. This is useful in a million applications beyond your Cam Studio recordings. So and it takes up zero space, so I would definitely give it a give it a try. I think you will be thrilled with it. Another application I recommend is Zoomit. And Zoomit is what gives me the capability to do that. And bring in the f file. This is not native to Cam Studio, so this little tiny file called Zoomit is necessary. And uh, it's very itty bitty. I only run it when I'm actually making recordings. But as you see, it works very handy. To get to zoom it, of course, you would, I'm sure you guessed correctly already, go to Google. Oops. Hello, Google. And type zoom it. It's the very first entry. It's at technetmicrosoft.com. It's one of the system internals programs done by the oh, uh, legendary Mark. Rosadovich. You simply download and install it. It's only 267k in size, so it's so tiny. It's not even funny. Not e a quarter of a meg here, and yet it gives you this cool capability to zoom in on screens. Okay, so how can you lose? The other big program that you'd really want to have is Virtual Dub. Now, I use Virtual Dub for recompressing my audio because when I am recording my audio because of my slow machine, there's a little bit of a jump ahead. I always have my audio options for microphone set to use MCI recording, meaning I'm using just the system's recording syst method. I'm not using any of these settings here. It's basically just recording it at PCM. It, 44.4 and uh, you know large size file for the audio so there's no compression going on when I upload it I always want to turn that into 
an MP3. Sometimes I also want to recompress my video to make the video smaller, even smaller yet than the Cam Studio lossless codec has made it. So, so for those types of tasks and many, many other things, and we'll be covering this in depth later on, you want to go get virtual dub. This is the same idea. Type virtual dub, all one word. See, no space. And bingo, the very top page will take you there. Click on the downloads link. It will get you right to a page that gives you a link to SourceForge. And you get to SourceForge. And there's the list of download mirrors. And uh, that's where you go. There's also a 64-bit version. But we will want that. And it shows me the various download mirrors where I can get this from. Well, actually, it doesn't show it as a list. It just grabs it from the nearest one to me geographically. So you can merely open it with WinZip, or you can save the file. If you open it with WinZip, you get the whole program. It all resides in a single folder. As you see here, let's go ahead and put that in there. And you simply extract the entire folder and to a folder that you create, like on your desktop or in your program files, that you give the name virtual dub to, or you can give it any name, and it will put it all of the necessary files inside of there. There's no installation to do, it's all self-contained. Okay. So that's a cool thing. Let's go back to Google again. Another program that you'll be wanting to get is the K-Lite Codec Pack. Um, I'll be covering that in a little more depth in the following video. And then you want to download and install DivX as well and disable their auto updater. So I have separate videos for that. Uh, watch those. They give you all of the codecs you'll ever need to record just about anything. But truthfully, if you've got the Cam Studio lossless codec and you're doing this kind of screen recording without a lot of motion, um, you're not recording games, you're not recording other videos, uh, it's pretty much all a lot of still content, you can hardly beat the Cam Studio lossless codec for quality and for really small files. Okay, well, we'll get on with the downloading of the k codec pack and the DivX in the next two videos.